Welcome to this GE Healthcare educational series on electromyography-based neuromuscular transmission monitoring. In this second video, we will be covering the EMG setup as well as optimal electrode placement and sensor cleaning. This measurement is part of the GE Healthcare adequacy of anesthesia concept. It relates to the suppression of neuromuscular transmission for immobility as part of balanced anesthesia and supports clinicians in titrating neuromuscular blocking agents and reversal agents. Please always remember to refer to the user manual that accompanies the monitor for more information on the GE Healthcare EMG solution. Let's get started. The GE Healthcare NMT solution for electromyography consists of five components. The GE Healthcare Patient Monitor, the GE Healthcare ENMT module, the NMT sensor cable, the electro sensor, and the NMT electrodes. It is now time to place electrodes on the patient. The optimal site to place the electrodes is the patient's hand. Alternatively, it is also possible to use the patient's foot. The patient's forehead is not a recommended site for electrode placement due to the close location of two muscles, the orbicularis oculi that has the same sensitivity as extremities, the corrugator supercilii that has the same sensitivity as the diaphragm. Therefore, Measuring EMG on the forehead might provide inaccurate responses depending on the muscle which is being stimulated. Before placing the electrodes on the patient, proceed with skin preparation. Remove possible body hairs from the electrode application area. Wipe the skin with alcohol and let dry. Do not place electrodes on areas with lesions. There are five different electrodes that need to be placed for EMG monitoring. The brown and white electrodes are used for stimulation. The black electrode is the ground electrode. The red and green electrodes are the measuring electrodes. Note, always keep the brown electrode distal and the white electrode proximal. Swapping these electrodes may reduce supermaximal current. Place the electrode for black lead connection where convenient, preferably proximally to the white stimulating lead connection electrode. Place two electrodes for white and brown lead connection along the ulnar nerve. Ensure that the entire electrode surface has optimal contact with the skin. Ensure that the electrodes do not touch each other even when the hand is moved. Place the electrodes for red and green lead connection as hereby indicated along the adductor pollicis muscle or the hypothenar muscle. In case the patient's hand is not available, you can place the electrodes on the patient's foot as follows. Place the electrodes for white and brown lead connections along the posterior tibial nerve, causing plantar reflection of the great toe and foot, or peroneal nerve, stimulated behind the head of fibula. Place the electrodes for red and green lead connection sites on the musculus flexor hallucis brevis. Place the electrode for black lead connection, ground, as indicated hereby and in a location where it does not touch the stimulating electrodes. The electro sensor can be cleaned and disinfected as follows. Wipe the product with a cloth moistened with mild detergent or soap solution until it is visually clean. Disinfect the product according to your general hospital cleaning and disinfection practices. The following disinfectant agents can be used on this product without compromising the product safety. 90% ethyl alcohol, 60% isopropyl alcohol, 2% glutaraldehyde, and 2% phenol. Note, do not immerse the product in liquids and protect them from strong UV radiation. After the case, the NMT electrodes can be disposed of. NMT electrodes are for single use only and should not be reused as it could pose a risk of infection and or result in measurement errors. Thank you for watching this video series on EMG-based NMT monitoring. In the next video, we will talk about the Carescape Monitor's EMG user interface.